Wang Jingyu is heading to his adversary, the Chinese embassy in The Hague. The 21-year-old fled China in 2019 when he was just 17. He had posted content online questioning the government's response to protests in Hong Kong. Now based in the Netherlands, he says his anti-government activism in Europe has also caused trouble for his family back home. I want to then explain to me why I detained my arrest my parents. The second thing is the protest. A protest also for another Chinese dissident. Uh, because uh, the Chinese government uh, uh, in China arrest a lot of Chinese dissidents and uh, prosecute them. Wang tells our crew that he expects the Dutch police to be called as soon as he arrives outside the embassy. Ah, police coming. <laughs> His prediction materializes within just a couple of minutes. The police say it's routine for them to ask people what they're doing if they linger outside foreign embassies based here in The Hague. Wang's Chinese passport is invalidated. He says fake bomb threats are regularly called into hotels around the world using his name. On his phone, he shows hundreds of calls, which he says he receives most days threatening him. He claims he was recently followed into this cafe by someone he believed was a government agent. For me, also for my girlfriend, we just want a normal life. But they, they keep doing something, uh, threaten me, uh, harassing me, even this, this the people follow me or make problem to me or just make a phone call, uh, say I, I'm overseas police, you should come to here, otherwise I will go to your house. It's really making me a little bit crazy. Laura Harth works for Safeguard Defenders, a human rights NGO, which released a report in 2022 claiming Chinese authorities have established over 100 overseas police stations in 53 countries around the world. They also found proof in China's own reporting that over 230,000 Chinese citizens were persuaded to return to China between April 2021 and July 2022. What we found were accounts by Chinese authorities saying that these stations are being run to provide services such as renewal of passports, driver's license and so on, but also to form a link with the public security bureaus and procuratorates of courts back home to monitor the sentiment and public opinion within the community and to assist in this kind of persuasion to return operations. We reached out to the Chinese embassy in the Netherlands, but there was no response. The Chinese foreign ministry categorically denies the existence of overseas police stations. China abides by international law and respects the sovereignty of all countries. The so-called Chinese overseas police stations do not exist. The Dutch foreign minister tells us they've asked China to shut down the police stations. Well, we have been crystal clear to the Chinese about uh, what we have seen. Any type of, of uh, state activities can only take place if the host country actually is aware and is okay with that. Uh, this was clearly not the case. So we told them to close them ASAP, which, the, which they have done. Uh, and we're currently investigating the exact specifics of the matter. Wang insists the stations are still active and wants authorities in the Netherlands to do more. They should uh, ask uh, a police search that's overseas police station. They should uh, uh, sue the criminal, I mean the Chinese overseas police. I hope they can deport the Chinese ambassador because he already make a fake report to Dutch police say I have a bomb. The European Commission says while it condemns all foreign interference on the territory of its member states, it won't launch an EU-wide action. This is a matter of national security and sovereignty of the EU member states. Some member states have already launched investigations and the Commission welcomes very much this fact because it is a matter of uh, imp huge importance to shed light on this worrying phenomenon. For Wang, the harassment and the fear by the Chinese authorities is nothing compared to the worry he feels for not knowing how his actions have affected his family. He is unable to contact them. I tried to call my mother. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again.